how do you how do you defend him? How do you contain him? Is there even that thought? I mean, what do you, yeah. what do, you do with him? Um, I mean, my thought is you have to play uh, you have to play tight with him. Um, but the tough part is it's, it's similar to Morales when he was in his heyday in uh, in Salt Lake that. You know, they might look like they play a 4-4-2 diamond or whatever, but he'll pop up anywhere on the field and, and get the ball. So you can't man mark him. Um, it's a final. You're not you're not going to man mark somebody. Um, you want to play good football at the same time. So it's all about containment the best you can. Um, and with him, it's uh, you know the big guy's got to get into him, and he makes it difficult because he's you know waist height, and you get close and he spins you and he's gone, and he's that good on the ball. So you know you see it in moments in the Montreal game where. Simon thinks he's got him contained, and he takes one-two touch, and it's a foul on the edge of the box, and you know goes out for a corner, and then they score. So um, you just got to do the best you can uh, with a guy like that, top player. I mean, what, what do you say about top players? You can't you can't stop them really. So it's all about uh, it's all about us at that point, keeping possession um, and making sure that we finish our chances. So we put we put pressure on him. How, how are he and Nico maybe similar and, and different players? Uh, similarities. I mean, they're both obviously top players. They uh, they see the game different than than most. Um, they're deadly in, in small spaces, um, and they pop up in different different uh, parts of the field, and that makes it difficult. Um, you know, you look at some teams; they play a very strict four four two. Uh, these guys play. You want to call it a three five two in attack, five three two on defense. Uh, so he has freedom since their outside backs go forward to float wherever he wants to create two v ones and and three v two. So um, it's a good system for him. But also, this is a good system for Nico. So you you play into the strengths of your best players, and, and I think that both teams do that. Um, and they're game changers. That's the most important thing. Um, obviously, Sebastian Giovinco, very little. But on the uh, on the opposite side, Josie Altidore, one of the most you know one of the most imposing forwards in the league. Five goals on the trot for him. How do you guys slow him down defensively? Same thing. I mean, it's it is what it is. He's a, he's a good player. So what do you do? You you have to be good on the day. Uh, big players make make big plays on in, in big games. So our two our two big guys in the back have their hands full, but they've played in in big games before. Um, they've played in World Cup qualifiers, you know, in against Josie. So um, you do the best you can. Um, but also these these guys are imposing figures themselves, and it'll be a good battle. Um, I think when Josie has time and space, he's he can make plays. He's not a typical. Alan Gordon, target striker. He also is very good with his feet and can see see big passes and and key moments. So in saying that, it's uh, it's got to be a physical battle when, when when Josie touches the ball because if he's allowed to turn, he can he can become a very good passer and he also moves well off the ball. So in saying that, uh, the physical battle is going to be key. Uh, will be number one with with Josie and our center back. What's your, uh, what's your first memory of Schmetz when you got here in 2009? First memory. Um, First impression. Yeah, I mean, first impression of Smets was, uh, I don't know, I mean, you want to say history has been involved with the club for a long time, I knew that. Um, you know, with the under 20s, we played Seattle up here, the Sounders, um, when, when Schmetz was the coach, we played at UW. Um, I remember a guy on the sideline screaming, yelling, uh, and a guy who was fiery, even from our first training session at VMAC, was uh, in faces, making sure that everything was sharp, quick, uh, and to the point. So. Uh, in saying that, nothing has changed really. It's uh, he's still in your ear, in the back of your mind, saying um, faster, quicker, um, you know, and that's good. Keep the guys on their toes, and, he, and he's done that since day one. So um, consistency is there.